Hi everybody, Alan Ward here from Bogger Business Plan and welcome to the weekly wrap for the week ending the 17th of June 2011. Today, just one thing I want to talk about and that is diversification um, in your internet marketing business. So diversification is pretty important. As you probably know, I work as a financial planner and I'm always talking to my clients about the importance of diversifying their investments across the different asset classes. So theory being that if one asset class doesn't perform very well for a period of time, something else will, um, and that will tend to cushion um, or offset the effects of the underperforming one. So overall, they get a more even performance. So it is in your um, blogging business. So it's important to not have all your eggs in the one basket, but in fact to um, have a few different options around as to how you derive your income, your traffic, and those sorts of things. So today I just want to talk about a couple of things. And one is when you look at guys like Darren Rouse from ProBlogger Pro and Pat Flynn, smartpassiveincome.com, um, those guys have a couple of websites. Um, so in terms of their business entities, there's a couple of websites in different niches um, where they you know, get their revenue from. Now, you may not quite be at that stage, but within your website, there's things that you can do as well. So um, I talk to a lot of people about multiple sources of revenue. So um, say when it comes to advertising, for instance, you could um, you know, use the Google advertising on your blog, pay-per-click stuff. Um, but what if Google shut that down or you got banned? So having a couple of advertising options is, is worthwhile. Um, products is another one as well. You could build a very successful blog around one product, but if something changes in the environment and that product um, is no longer relevant, what happens? So it's probably more important to have a portfolio of products that you can sell and promote via your blog. Um, I'm a big fan also in having a mix of your own products because you've got more control over that as well as using other people's products. Um, other things that you can sell via your blog, look, um, courses, you know, membership options, that sort of thing. Um, consulting is another big one as well. If you're blogging and you know how to set up a basic blog and do that sort of stuff, you know a lot more than a lot of other people do. So again, don't sell yourself short. Look at different, different sources of revenue um, that um, you can use to reduce your risk of one of those revenue sources drying up. Um, another question I want to ask is, do you rely on Google too much? And this flows nicely into the next thing of traffic sources. So again, if most of your traffic comes to you via SEO and Google, what happens if Google change their search engine algorithms and all of a sudden your traffic dries up? So I think it's really important to have um, traffic coming from a number of different sources. That can be Twitter and other forms of social media. It can be by um, guest posting. Um, it can be by um, bookmarking. So using Dig and those sorts of places to stumble upon. Um, article writing, so you've got articles and other article directories and people read those and, and click through. YouTube's another option as well, so that's one of the things I've been doing with the weekly wrap as well. Finally, just looking at business models. So, um, you know, blogging is one way of, um, you know, or one method of, of making money by having a blog, but other things to consider are having a membership site. Um, so you sell subscriptions or something like that. The other things I mentioned earlier is, is being a product creator or being a product seller. And I think there's a, there's a good balance between those two that if you're starting out, you probably haven't already created a product. So there's some sense in selling other people's products. Um, but as you progress to lower your risk of those products being you know, stopped or taken off the market, I think it's really important for you to develop your own products as well. Um, so importantly, don't put your eggs in the one basket. Diversify um, all aspects of your business. Um, as best as you can. So I hope that helps. Um, I'm Alan Ward from bloggerbusinessplan.com. Head on over to the site if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, there'll be a link um, alongside the video, below the video. And um, yeah, have a look at the blog and, and subscribe. That'd be great. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions or things you want me to talk about in future episodes, just let me know. Thank you.